My name is Tamina Ali. I'm a family doctor here in South Surrey. I'm in front of the hospital, TSART, where I have privileges. And I'm speaking about why I think it's important to consider voting for the NDP this election year. I come from Alberta. Uh, five years ago, we moved to the Lower Mainland. And I know what happens when one party stays in government for too long. Bad things. People get arrogant. They get complacent. They start to pay attention more to who's paying their donations versus what's best for it, the community. I saw firsthand. I practiced for ten, for 10 years in a rural community and I saw our healthcare system go from bad to worse. Um, and this is in a province that is blessed with very rich uh, coffers. And so coming to BC, um, I was pleasantly surprised to see that despite the fact that this is a very diverse uh, geographical province that has huge challenges that the province still runs quite smoothly. And so being a card-carrying federal liberal, I thought my choices were pretty simple, that I would vote for Christy Clark um, again in this election. But uh, being here, I've seen firsthand the problems that have arisen in our government. There's a lack of transparency. Programs get MLA. People get bullied as civil servants for the views they hold simply because they are opposing the current government views. We have the most vulnerable people in society who need to sustain themselves on less than a thousand dollars or maybe even less per month in the Lower Mainland where the cost of living is skyrocketing. A cost of living that continues to skyrocket because of foreign investors that make it impossible for even a high earner like myself, a physician, to live in a place like Vancouver. Which means that people are moving in droves to places like Surrey, which continue to be underserviced in regards to schools, to hospitals, to healthcare, to infrastructure, because we simply don't receive the same dollars as the greater Vancouver area just simply because we're not the greater Vancouver area. And that's got to change. Vancouver is not the be all and end all of our province. We are vast and we all deserve services. And we need to recognize that not serving the people who need the help the most hurts us all in the end. Because ultimately, those people who cannot pay for food, who cannot pay for their medication, who cannot pay for a place to live, cost us all in the end with healthcare services, with people who aren't educated and drop out of school early or end up um, in unexpected family situations and end up on social assistance. So we might think that we are in a different income bracket and this is not going to affect us or that our incomes are going to, our taxes are going to go up with an NDP government. Our taxes might not go up with a Liberal government, but it's going to cost us in different ways. And so that ultimately is the question is, what do we want our province to look like in the next four years? Do we want a government that panders to people with deep pockets, who donate, who do not be accountable or customers to each other government, with fresh ideas, and that are approachable and willing to work for everybody in BC, not just those with really high incomes? Thank you.